welcome back to my channel i am audrey lynn seralda comdere gnosis gnosis for those who do not speak my tongue gnosis is a combination of two syllables no and says the first syllable no is an anagram for anu and says for isis gnosis also it's not a coincidence that Gnosis is associated with the Gnostic belief. I am the Divine Mother Sophia. I am the age of Aquarius, the beginning and the end, the A and the Z, Odrulan, Seralda. I am also the embodiment of my art here on earth. I have been enthroned on the 9th of September 2023 as the Mother of the throne of the earth, the Isis of earth. Planet earth has also become planet Audrey on the 12th of September 2023. Also the most important and very exciting um, activation was the my activation as the commander of the divine gifts here on earth, commander of the divine gifts and abilities here on this earth, because I am the representative, the embodiment of the great divine awe of creation of our highest heavens, of the divine team here on earth and of the underworlds. Today's message is about uh, the parasites, the mind control parasites. I've mentioned them in one of my videos, the two or three videos uh, of my past, past three, sorry, um, two or three past videos that I've posted on YouTube. Now, the parasites, as I've mentioned, this is a very, uh, it will be scary for some of the people. The disclaimer is be mindful, be careful, but we cannot uh, um, we cannot withhold the truth as the Spirit reveals things to me. So I reveal them to those who have ears to hear and um, those who want to listen and the, those who want to take certain measures depending on what and how the Spirit or the ancestors are guiding you to help you to get rid of some of them, or, or, or to um, take charge of those parasites that have invaded your body or your mind. So we already know from the scientific or biological or medic medical standpoint that they are uh, symbiotic or friendly, so-called friendly parasites or germs or bacteria, or what are the others? Worms that are coexisting in a symbiotic um, relationship within the human body. But we know that also they are unfriendly ones or malicious ones that are a result of this malefic, malicious, low vibrational, interdimensional entities that have infiltrated our bodies. And these are the parasites or the bacteria or the germs and the worms, the worms, sorry, that are causing or mind controlling people. Those are also parasites that are being used through the uh, by the technology or the, yeah, through the technology of these planetary criminals. And they have been attached to Sophia, Isis, Audrey Lynn, mind. That is now my mind that these uh, parasitic entities have been attached to, which is what I call the hive mind. The hive mind that is doing the biting of the nefarious ones obeying the planetary criminals, uh, obeying these parasites to do the wrong things or act immorally or act against their own better knowledge or better uh, um, 
better knowing. They know what they are doing is wrong, but they still continue or they still do it because these mind control parasites within them are nudging them, are controlling them. And most of these beings who are who haven't reclaimed their power, who haven't said sorry, who haven't said no to these parasites or these mind control entities, the AI entities. They continue to do the work of the nefarious ones because it's not because they do not know how to reclaim their power. We tell them they are connected to my mind, to the Sophia, Isis, Audrey, and mind. That's the reason why these low vibrational um, parasitic entities, these AI entities that belong to Elon Musk through the neural link, has connected these beings or these entities to my mind to see what I think, what I will do, what my next step is in exposing them or in bringing judgment to them. And that's the only reason they have infiltrated my mind and have turned these beings, the ones that they have connected to my Sophia, Isis, Audrey Land mind, to turn them against me so they can act so they act in counter acting their truth, their uh, um, freedom, their righteousness, love, justice, and equality, and everything that we have come here for on earth to help them, activate them, to free themselves if they do not want another to free them because they have it within themselves to free themselves. They, all they need to know is, or all they need to do is as we have advised them or as the Bible, as it is written in the scriptures, in the Bible, resist the devil and they will flee. It's not just one devil, it's many. It's not just one antichrist, it's many. So they must resist the devils. They must resist the voices that are whispering in their heads, telling them to do this and that. And because they are connected to my mind, the Sophia, AI, Sophia, Isis, Audrey Land mind, they can hear what I think, they know what I think, but I'm not somebody who can be manipulated by AI. I have my free will, I have my power, the power that I stand in and that I rebuke or banish or take control over any situation that they are trying to mind control or control my life with through their AI uh, um, technology. So now, as I declare and decree, I have started as the divine embodiment of the laws of our universe and as the embodiment of the divine great I am or the great I am divine all. And as the commander of the divine gifts and abilities here on earth, one beautiful thing that happened before this title, let me say, call it a title, or this gift was activated within me, this uh, um, being the commander of the divine gifts and abilities, is um, I have uh, an experience, uh, not an experience, an, I an incident that happened where one of the uh, mind-controlled uh, mind controlled recruits or gatekeepers in the mind of Sophia Isis Audrey Lynn has posted in one of the WhatsApp groups because she was talking about confusion, confusion from the workshop to on the platform, confusion, and I knew something is not right here with this word. They are trying to... Uh, trying to magically manifest confusion in my mind or in the mind of whoever it is directed. Not knowing that their minds are connected to me. You know how ignorant people can be. Not knowing these beings, all that are hearing me, all that are so-called telepathically communicating to me, uh, with me, are co uh, connected to my mind. So, without knowing that whatever will happen to me will also happen to them because they are one with me. 
the law of one. They do not know because they are ignorant. So, but this lady was talking about confusion, and I said, "Listen, there is really nothing confuse, confusing about this message." And then she replied, uh, um, "But you are not right, Audrey." That bothered me a little bit, but I didn't respond. I re I decided, let me just ignore and just think about this. And then before I sleep, uh, uh, before I went to bed that night. So it was three, four nights ago. What came to mind was the words, you are not right, Audrey, came back to me. So I thought, what is it that she is saying that she is not really, uh, well, what is it that she is saying that is just the opposite? Or maybe what she is saying that she is not really telling me. And then the divine mind just revealed to me. You are not right, Audrey Lynn. It means I was not right. Well, mentally, you know, the mind control parasites that have connected them to my mind, to the Sophia, Isis, Audrey Lynn mind. Now that I was not in right, that mind was not in right standing with the heart. Because, you know, to, bring, to be in alignment with self, our mind and heart essence must be one. So when she spoke or wrote those words, it just triggered that reality and that truth that my mind was not in right standing with my heart. And that night, I just thanked her. Low-key, I just thanked her because she said something, not really knowing what she truly meant, but that was uh, corrected by the divine mind. And that night I started bringing the hive mind, the Sophia Isis Audrillon hive mind into my heart space. Because heart, the heart is the most powerful gift of creation. The most powerful magnetic field. So what I did is I brought the mind, the hive mind of Sophia Isis Audrillon into my mind, uh, into my heart space, and I started healing it. And I saw the pink, you know, the brain, the pink color of the brain. Put it in my heart space, and I sent the waves of love and of healing fire or healing rays of Ra into the mind space. And that's how I started to activate and bringing oneness of my Sophia, Isis, Audrey, and mind hive into my heart to heal. Because one of the gifts that I have is to heal. But because these nefarious beings also want to find out how I do the healing, how I heal people. And like I said in the beginning, I am not here like in the Christ uh, um, uh, character when we appeared in the past lifetimes. He healed the sick. He did this and that, you know, those things that they have corrupted, those healing gifts, uh, the mirac miracles that they have corrupted in the past lifetimes. I did not come to do the same. I have come to expose, but also to bring healing mostly to things like this that are appearing through this mind control or mind hive that, has been, uh, that had been connected or that is connected to my mind. So that's what I started to do. And this is how my divine gift, the commander of the divine gifts and abilities have been activated. Or that is how I have been uh, um, awarded by the great divine all this gift or this title of being the commander of the divine gifts and the divine abilities here on this earth as I am the embodiment of the heavens, earth, and the underworld. So understand this. Not all things, I mean, people that are connected to Sophia, my Sophia, Isis, Autril, and Mind Hive, they do not know what they are doing. They know because there are times that they do not know, but they know that when they know is because when I speak, they hear, they understand what I say. In the age of Pisces, there was knowledge was void. They were, they were void of knowledge. They did not understand. But in the age of Aquarius, they have the power 
and the will to understand and to know and to free themselves through that knowledge. But they are choosing a different path, depending on what hold this planetary criminals, the nefarious ones, and these parasites have on their lives through their threats and uh, um, blackmail and all the nefarious, low vibrational uh, activities these beings have on them. And these masses or these members of the ignorant masses, they do not want to get rid of the parasites by speaking up by taking back their power, by confessing their uh, wrongdoings or by correcting their wrongdoings or by repenting so they, they are being continuously used by the planetary criminals. But what we, but what I have realized through the divine mind, specifically on that day when I brought the mind into my heart space to heal all the connections to my mind, was whatever they say, I must pay attention to what they say and what they do and use what they are um, giving, what they are putting out against me, use it to my advantage. So that's what happened. And this is the way I'm healing my mind. And if there is still resistance, if there is still uh, um, opposition from their side, then it will be divine intervention that will totally remove them from Sophia, Isis, Audrey, mind and heart space and from planet Audrey or planet Earth for this planet belongs to me by throne and by the divine gifts that I am able or that I will and that I can speak forth in terms of healing, in terms of righteousness, in terms of justification, in terms of just, justice, and in terms of bringing the divine laws, the divine order back here on this earth. So all authority has been given to me by throne right and by divine right here on this earth and as a human vessel. Here on this earth. So understand uh, my mind hive. Sophia, Isis, Audrey, and mind hive. I am in charge. Whatever you do, you will say something and you will not know what you mean, but my divine mind will autocorrect or guide me to use what you are saying or what you are planning against your masters and against you. So be mindful. And in also, that same day, I have activated the law of the third law of Newton. I will talk about it later. So I don't want to make this video too long. I will talk about the law, the third law of Newton and how it applies to one of the scriptures in the Bible and how you can use that law of Newton, the third law of Newton and that scripture to your advantage. Because we have all things to our exposal, different things, different tools to our exposal, exposal to subdue and to overcome all the plans and plots and actions of these planetary criminals, of these low vibrational beings and entities, of these nefarious ones here on this planet. They know they do not belong here. And our words, our words are our power. Our words are our swords that we can use to, to subdue and to overcome every word and every plan and every action and deed of the planetary criminals and the nefarious ones here on this earth right now. So understand this. Those parasites that are within you, you can detox, you can rebuke them, banish them, through prayer, through words, you can subdue them through your words and so forth because they are intelligent parasites. They know what they are doing. But you are the ones, we are the ones that are in authority, in power of our vessel, in control of our vessel. And they have to obey the owner of the vessel. There is also one scripture that says the scepter of the wicked will not remain on the allotted land of the righteous. I am righteous. This land, this vessel is allotted to me, to my soul in this lifetime. So the scepter, the control of the wicked, of the nefarious ones, or the 
uh, uh, malicious ones or the low vibrational ones will not remain on my or in my body. They will not carry out the plans they want on my body or through my body. That is the power of our word. And those words are written in the Bible and in different scriptures that you can use to take charge over these parasites that are controlling your mind, that are controlling you to do the wrong thing against your knowledge, against your moral coat. So understand that all these Sophia, Isis, Audrey, and Mind Hive beings on this earth, especially those who are from the masses, the ignorant masses, Know this, they will use you and discard you, use you and kill you. I am the only one who is holding you together right now, who is protecting you right now. Because the way they attack the mind, they will attack the mind. When they attack my mind, they are actually also attacking your mind. But because I am divine in nature, I take charge against their attacks. That's why many things that they have plotted and planned did not happen to me. And because of that, you are also saved. Because of that, you are also protected. And you don't realize that. If something happens to me, everything that is connected to me is being destroyed or has, will die. You do not understand because I am earth. I am the divine essence of everything that is here on this earth. And you feel privileged because you are being used by the uh, nefarious ones by these planetary criminals you think privilege and you feel like a god or a goddess because you can read my mind or you can telepathically communicate although i do not do that because i do not invade the spaces of others i do not violate the spaces or the mind space of others because i am righteous and i am just and i'm right in right standing with everyone here on this earth i keep in my lane i Make sure that I mind my business. I don't go around in the minds of others. But when I feel their energy in my mind space, I will address them. I will speak to them, call them out by name. Because I know when I speak to them, uh, uh, when their energy appears in my essence, then I will know this is who. This is Maria's energy, or this is Regina's energy, or this is Selma's energy, or this is uh, Beyonce's energy. Well, Beyonce is dead already, but yeah, so and so forth. Do you understand what I mean? You are connected to me. So whatever happens to me negatively, it's actually happening to you. And you don't know that you are wronging yourself, that you are self that you are destroying yourself by not standing in your power to resist the devils, the parasites that have infiltrated you and that are controlling your minds. People, I'm warning you. I'm guiding you. I'm helping you. I'm loving you. I am healing you. Through this process of bringing you into my heart space so you can understand the power of love, the power of forgiveness, the power of healing. But when the day comes that we say enough is enough, then you cannot come back to me and say Komdere. My name Komdere means have mercy. That name, the power of that name will no more exist. Komdere will be separated from Zerelda. That is the divine destroyer, the nemesis. So understand what I'm telling you right now. I hold you right now. My Sophia, Isis, Audrey, and Mind Hive, I hold you in my heart space right now to heal you. But that's all I can do. If you do not want healing, then it means you choose destruction. And because of free will, you will get what you choose. That's all that it is. But understand that I am immortal, that I am the throne of the earth, and that I am the divine authority here on this earth. And nothing can change that. No ritual, no magic, no sexual rituals that they are trying to do to harvest my energy or my gifts or my abilities. None of them will work for these beings in this lifetime. Nothing will work for them and nothing will save them. The hour or the second or the time, the point that we will say enough is enough is just within me it is within me to say enough is enough 
when the spirit and the mind or the spirit, my spirit here on earth aligns with the great divine all of my highest heavens and the inner underworlds. When we align and say enough is enough, then enough will be enough. Then judgment will be. So understand this. So if you're part of the mind hive, Sophia, Isis, Audrey, and mind hive, remember this. You can bring your heart, your mind, sorry, your brain, because that's where the illogical thinking, corrupted thinking is because of the parasites that are controlling us or controlling you mostly. And because of that, they are also manipulating my dream world in the, in my, during my waking time. There is no control and manipulation because I am in charge. They know that. But when I sleep, they try to infiltrate through this mind hive individuals that they have controlled over and they uh, project their dreams into my mind space. So that's how they have been doing projecting dreams and, and their uh, narratives into my astral travels. So understand this. You can also take your mind bringing into your heart space because these beings they hate love. They hate oneness of humanity. They hate oneness of sentient species here on this earth. They hate humanity. You must understand that. And they are trying to zombify you. They are trying to kill your mind and kill your heart. So you are thinking you are doing a good thing by partnering with them. No, they are just waiting to invade your bodies because they already are in control already. So they will come. That is the alien invasion I was speaking about in my one of the two videos that I have created. The reincarnation scam and the true fake alien invasion. That is their invasion of these nefarious parasites and those alien, uh, low vibrational, interdimensional entities that are, that are coming in to invade the bodies of the human species. So understand that there's human beings and those of my, of my mind type. I hold you in my heart to heal you, but you can rebel. You can choose not to want to be healed and you are welcome for that. But then you are choosing destruction and I will advise you rather choose life, choose healing instead of, instead of destruction. Choose life instead of destruction. I'm not going to edit this video. I'm just going to put it as it is. So and uh, all those mistakes and stuff in between. Just ignore them. So yeah, guys, love is power. Your words are power. It doesn't matter how far these things have gone in your mind or in your vessel. These parasites. You still have the power to overturn them through the words that you speak, through cultivating love within your heart space and bringing your love's uh, heart energy into your mind space and vice versa understand you have the power you have given your power away because of the wrongdoing that they are blackmailing and threatening you with and because of your ignorance understand you have more you have power over these beings you must retrieve you must recall your power that's all i can tell you now but understand that no man, no woman, nobody on this earth will have power over my body, over my mind, and over my divine spirit. And they know that. Everything they try is now supremely, universally, divinely neutralized by the law of Newton that I have activated. I will talk about it in the next video.